A key recommendation of the 9-11 Commission is about to be implemented. Travelers entering the United States from Canada, Mexico and the Caribbean will be required to present passports or other secure IDs. Now the new rules were adopted to make it more difficult for terrorists to obtain real identity documents. Luis Schiavone reports. It'll take a whole new set of 21st century IDs to get land and sea travelers in and out of the continental U.S. starting next week, a product of the 9-11 Commission. Assuring that people are who they say they are when they come across the border is incredibly important to our national security. For instance, wallet-sized cards with built-in chips and antenna are designed to get frequent travelers across the border by signaling their approach from 30 feet away. And it broadcasts a unique number uh, that the Customs and Border Patrol uses to pull the, your data out of their database so that when you arrive at the immigration point a few seconds later, all the information is up there and waiting for uh, the, the official to use as a screening tool. So far, the government has printed half a million of these. The Government Printing Office, Homeland Security and the State Department have joined forces in the effort. People are going to love it once it's in operation, especially those in the border communities, because I think it's going to improve traffic at those points, because people will only have to check a handful of documents. They'll have greater security. Starting Monday, birth certificates and most U.S. driver's licenses will not meet the test at the border for Americans returning by land or sea from Canada, Mexico, or the Caribbean. What does work? A U.S. passport, a passport card, a credit card-sized ID good only for land and sea travel, trusted traveler program cards for those frequently crossing the border, and enhanced driver's licenses currently offered only by Michigan, New York, Vermont, and Washington. It's all detailed at www.getyouhome.gov. U.S. officials tell us that recent border traffic suggests travelers are ready for the tighter security requirements. But even without these preferred documents, all Americans have the right to go home. It's just going to take longer. Louise Schiavone for CNN.